What you want, woman? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a quick video. <laughs> quick video, right? We're gonna do a video about changing that. What is that? That is evaporator coil for a Freightliner Cascadia. Walk with me, talk with me. So I originally had this done. Oh, there's one bit. Yeah, it's a mess. This actually has screws in it. I cleaned the freaking uh, Freon off. So here's the deal. Started out, um, the AC just quit working, you know what I mean? Went from being fine to blowing hot air. They found out it was an evaporator coil. They replaced the evaporator coil, duct taped, because you have to cut this with the X-Acto knife, and they duct taped it shut. So then I had water in the floor. So I bought this pan, I was like, I'll just deal with it. But no, then I eventually decided, hey, I'm gonna try to find the leak. Like, I was afraid, the reason why it was leaking up here is because it wasn't, if you look at it, it's angled down, and there's a, a pipe that runs out behind the box. This box. You gotta take this whole box off. You gotta take this off. It's a lot of work. But anyway, yours truly took that box off and broke the new evaporator coil. Yes, I broke it. I put too much pressure on it because I did put too much pressure on these, which run back there to the evaporator coil. Follow that. It's actually unhooked right there because I didn't take this off to get this box to come straight out. So I put way too much pressure. Lesson learned, be sure to watch that video. Um, there's a video before this and it's basically me talking about that for a relentless amount of time. But this is me putting it in, so no more talking. Let's put it in. Oh, real quick, let's go ahead. The evaporator coil should come with a cover. They literally make these housings to accept the replacement cover. That's what these screw holes are for. Well, I bought a I bought a replacement evaporator coil, which did not come with a cover either, which makes no sense. So I had to order it again, and it cost me 41 bucks. I was able to pick it up at a local Freightliner dealer. Um, so I'll show you that in a moment. Let's go. All right, here are the parts you're going to need. New evaporator core, coil, whatever you want to call it. Um, I do not have the part number, you'll figure it out. Mother truck is. And this is the evaporator core housing. Comes with screws and a seal. Literally all I needed. Here's the part number for that. T100051M. $41, um, 50 something dollars after tax, something like that, I can't remember. Comes with the screws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I use an impact driver. Uh, well, I call I don't know what you would call that, but that's what it is. Electric impact, love it. Um, for the body panels, it is a T T20. Yeah. Um, you will need a couple extensions, fairly long. You will need a 13 millimeter. And I like to get these little flexi guys out because you'll see in a moment why. Um, and you'll also need a 13 millimeter wrench um, before I'll show you. This block right here is held in by these screws. And on the inside, they actually go to, see like there's a nut there. The other nut's up here, it's really hard to get to. So you need the wrench for back there while you're tightening and loosening here. Um, there's one, there's another, there's one directly back here. So you'll have to break all this loose. Those are tins up there. Break them all loose all the way to the middle. Take those out, take the side out. That's a tin as well. Pull this up, it comes up. Um, you'll take these screws out here, which are what hold in your cabin air filter cover thing. And this whole piece all the way across will come up and that'll give you room to put your uh, extensions through here and get the top screw. Now on this side, these screws are harder to get to. There's one back there, yep, right there. And there's another one by the hot turbo, which is still hot. This has been sitting here for over an hour, cooling down, so I'm not gonna be able to do it today. Ha, huh. might not be able to get it done today. I don't wanna to burn myself. Also, like I said, I didn't take uh, this piece off. 
So simple, I believe what those are eights or just a flathead. But we're taking all of them off. And get that way we can we have more room. That's about all the talking I'm gonna do. We're just gonna do it. It's probably not recommended, guys, but I am really gonna try to do this without removing the box. Because literally I just need to be able to get to this kind of stuff back here. Right there it is. Um, this box is such a pain in the butt. It's what brings the, you know, makes it take a long time. So what well, if I can do without taking that off, I'm going to. <laughs> That's exactly what I said whenever I broke the first one. So I was not gonna take that off. I'll show you how I broke the first one. Maybe not how, but where. Here's my Tundra guys. If uh, you're into Toyota Tundras, I got another channel called Fruits Videos where I, uh, did a couple of minor mods to it. Definitely worth it. Also, check out my oil changing setup for owner operators. It's pretty cool. All right, here's this. Ah. Look at that right there. See the crack? You see the die come down? That's because I put too much pressure on it. Funny thing is, when I first uh, picked up the truck, I noticed. Uh, noise and I thought maybe it's just some air like evacuating evacuating the system but I don't know right now you know what I mean that I don't know we're gonna see if we can fit in there and set that up we're sure he's saying chicken wing Wednesday <laughs> all right so I figured out something here mine did not come with that you know this came just like that with the cover on and some weird little right there little uh, rubber pieces and it was it had compressed air inside so that's pretty weird so I pulled these washers off of my old one which would make them fairly new since this job was just recently done so make sure you got some um, it's got the rubber inside make sure you put those on here obviously that's something that's gonna <laughs> be required I don't know why it this didn't come with that like I have no idea what they're talking about. All right. <laughs> she said, you, you can, you just choose not to. All right, so I'm gonna stick all this on, put it through that hoe, hope it works. So here we go. Um, this goes on, two little screws go through the block there. Um, those screws, they're either, I can't, mine come with black ones or silver ones, wherever I lost them at, here they are. That is an Allen head, which is whatever size this is, five, five thirty seconds, sorry, five thirty seconds. Yes, my truck's a mess. Yes, I spray painted some stuff, just trying out some goofy ideas. So this came in the bag, it literally just came with this. There was nothing else, just all the way up to here. It had this, and it had this piece, with two little black screws, and two seals um, that looked like this, got completely plugged off the end, and that was tightened down, it had compressed air in it. This um, is off my other one, my existing one. It did not come with that. Um, it did not come with those seals like I showed you. That was all me. Wish me luck, I'm gonna try to fit this in here. I guess I should explain that this gets cut out. There, I lost it. I don't. I didn't lose it. I just don't. Hang on. Here's what the other piece looked like. You'll notice, and it also has the part number. It tells you to replace this access cover with this part number, and then that's the part number I showed you at the beginning of the video. Um, yes, I tried to seal it myself with uh, silicone. That stuff stinks. Oh, yeah, you still smell it, like. Yeah, don't don't do that. That makes that makes the air stink and the air passes here. So yeah, you don't want anything in there stink. So I used a lot of acetone to clean all that out. Um, make sure you check my other video out and see my try on air. It's quite hilarious. Let's do this. I'm not gonna record a whole bunch, but just give you the general idea of what's going on here. We're gonna tighten this down. Drop tools everywhere. You might also need a T25 for some of the, the dash parts, um, the interior parts. 
wouldn't help if I had a socket with this end. But this works. I believe they're over at the rest area talking. Yeah. Hmm. That's some pretty good distance on those things. If they're still moving, I've been listening to them for the last half hour. <laughs> All right. That's nice and tight, we hope. No idea how open that's supposed to be. I'm sure it needs to be cleaned. Um, if you do want to open it, use this here. Um, no idea like what that's supposed to look like. Probably put it all together, tell them what I did, and have them um, finish. You know what I mean? Because they still got to drain the system and um, put in some good Freon. Or refrigerant, whatever. I don't know. What do you guys think? You think I can just buy it at the store and it'll be just as good? All right, I was able to push her in. Hopefully I didn't push too hard. Yeah, my knee just popped. That that did not feel right. Has a wet pop too. Um, let's see here. See this mess here? Okay. Hey, there's the new one. Here's where it needs to go to. This block. I think I can make it happen. Alrighty, we're gonna try to get a final fit. We might have to take the main block loose again, but I'm trying to see if I can. Get everything going without doing that. Yeah, let me see. Everything's hot. <laughs> All right, since I'm having trouble kind of half in this, we're gonna put the door on. <laughs> and then uh, that way this doesn't push out this way as I'm trying to connect on the other side. Again, you have to order this separately. Just go get this from, um, your local Freightliner dealer. Call them, tell them what you need. Um, rewind for the part number. Because eBay has it for like 70 bucks and literally, you could probably get it for port. All right, well you really only need the gasket for the bottom half. But it looks like you can stretch it all the way around. We'll see. Then we'll put it on. It's like a mess here, don't it? It's all right though. There we go, see how that lines up? <laughs> this guy on the radio is hilarious, guys. All right, so this has screws on the bottom, on both sides. They're size T20. Your neighbors. Four. All right, I got the bottom screws on. Let me tell you, oh, there's one, there's a couple back here. There's four on this side. That last one is a pain in the butt to get to with this. So whatever, I'm, I'm so hot and just over it right now. <laughs> I gotta work tonight, guys, I'm screwed. So I'm just gonna screw them in and uh, we'll go back out instead of, for, if you don't know by now, I'm not a mechanic, but I, I did only thing separating me from them is I don't have the service manual but another thing separating me from them is um, my reading comprehension is pretty high so but there you go um, that last screw the bottom left was a pain but we got her we just took the uh, this off and used the adjustable or well pliers on the bottom to turn it you want woman <laughs> that's going on in the beginning of this video she said your money all right this is gonna be my eyes well shoot that's not really a good place to be I'm back All right, turbo breather thing is off. Check out the inside of the turbo. And we got so much more room for activities now. Cool. Wish you luck. 
All right, well, good news. It's starting to work. The compressor is kicked in. All right. All right, this is a small, about 17 ounces. Hey guys, so we're on vacation and even Xena made it. <laughs> um, I forgot to finish the video or record anymore, but I ended up taking the truck to the shop to, um, they, I already said this on some video, I don't know. But anyways, they put the, the little washer things I was showing you with the little rubber pieces in the middle, they put new ones on. Um, and they evacuated and then recharged the system. Uh, it's pretty cool. They did all that for me because of the miscommunication about the uh, you know, the whole reason why I tore it all apart to begin with. So they did all that to me or for me for free. So I'm very appreciative, and I will still use them. Um, probably just mostly for diagnosing things. But check out the next video um, that I'm going to be editing soon. Um, it's about changing out the batteries. Uh, I went ahead and got all new ones because I started smelling sulfur, and <laughs> well, you'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Hey, in this video, we're gonna remove the batteries. Batteries are located under the driver's side. Um, there's four. Uh, the skirting has to come off. I'm when you lock yourself out of your truck at the fuel station, I hope I don't become a meme or something.